We are starting to learn more about the accused drunk driver who allegedly killed three Nickel State freshmen. If convicted, this would be his fourth official DWI, but records reveal a fifth DWI arrest. Erica Ferrando explains. 39-year-old Joey Claymall from Thibodeau is facing three counts of vehicular homicide for the deaths of Nickel State freshmen and recent Hanville High School graduates, Michaela Bowling, Lily Dufrin, and Haley Koss. According to Louisiana State Police, Claymall crossed the center line on Highway 20 just after midnight early Saturday morning, hitting the SUV the three victims were driving in. They all died at the scene. Claymall had minor injuries. Claymall was arrested for multiple charges, including his fourth DWI offense. Records show he was charged with first offense DWI in Ascension Parish in 2014, second offense in Calcasieu Parish in 2015, and third offense in Lafouche Parish in 2016. For that case, he was sentenced to two years in prison, but it's still unclear whether he served the full term. That sentencing is not surprising to Loyola law professor Dane Cialino. The maximum that you could get on a third offense DWI is a five-year sentence. But records from the St. James Parish Sheriff's Office Office show Claymont was also arrested for a DWI back in 2010 after a single vehicle crash. This appears to be his first of five DWI arrests. A chief deputy in St. James says Claymont's blood alcohol level was 0.251, but records show the case was no prost, meaning the district attorney decided not to prosecute. We're told Claymont successfully completed a pre-trial diversion program, which allowed the charge to be dropped. Any number of things can cause a DA to exercise his or her discretion and just decide to drop charges. It happens routinely. Louisiana State Police say Claymont's license was temporarily suspended multiple times over the last decade, but during the most recent crash, it was valid. The Louisiana Office of Motor Vehicles showed us the standard license suspension periods. For a third offense DWI, it's three years. If Claymont is convicted for the current charges he faces, Cialino believes he will spend decades in prison. He could get as many as 30 years for each death, which could be stacked one on top of another for a total of 90 plus years. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. We still don't know what Claymont's blood alcohol level was in this most recent case. It's being tested right now. According to state police, it could take about a week for those results to come back.